You keeping it weird in Thailand. Joe Blair here once again on this uh, anniversary, approximate anniversary date of uh, me starting uh, keeping it real in Thailand. First video I ever did was Shoe Swag, which I did right here, which I had uh, lots of uh, jetsam from the ocean and I brought it here and I laid it out. And, uh, you know, everything from tea to beer and cigarettes and such things. A lot of it from Viet, most of it from Vietnam, I would say. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go on a walk today. Oh, by the way, that sound you hear behind me here, up the, the cicadas up in the trees, up in the coconut trees. They're uh, furiously rubbing their hind legs, hoping to attract mates and uh, get it on. So, come with me this morning, it's about 10.30, and we'll go for a, an anniversary walk. Maybe a little dip in the ocean too as well. So, if you're feeling a little chilled back there, well, come along with me here and let's, uh, let's get hot, hot, hot. So, without further ado, let's uh, go. Well, as you can hear, uh, cicadas aren't, uh, so dense in this area. So the backwoods here, going through the jungle. This here's a buffalo wallow. It's dried up, but when that fills with water, they'll lie in there and waller. You can see uh, some of their hoof prints there. There's a buffalo back there. Yeah. Continuing the march towards the ocean. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, I do a lot of walking around here and just flip flops. <laughs> this is an eight kilometer walk today. And uh, yeah, do it in the flip flops. Been doing it for years and years. Now I do uh, highly recommend Ufus, O O F O O S, I believe. Um, they are by far the best flip-flop I've ever worn in Southeast Asia. I mean, uh, they are so good for your feet. These ones are actually copies. Uh, I lost my original. Well, one of them anyway, making a. Uh, YouTube video <laughs> it actually <laughs> went down a drain as I helplessly watched it go into the abyss float away into the abyss look how green everything is here eh? you think you were in Ireland except with coconut trees Beautiful, isn't it? I think so. And of course, the temperature is always going up, but we got a nice little wind. We got a nice little wind today. A little breeze. Now these plants here are pretty fascinating. You touch the leaves. Watch this. See how they see how they close up. See, see that. Defense mechanism they have. Uh, interesting. Yeah. When you live here this long, you get to know all the little hidden secrets. There's lots of uh, there's lots of different type of plants in here too that you can eat. You can eat these too, like a, a daisy, you can eat those. Uh, a lot of uh, Thais lately are adorning 
uh, desserts with these type of flowers. Daisies are blossoms or something? You know these? These ones too you can eat. See, again. I wish I knew all the uh, technical names for them, but um, I don't. I just know I've seen them. I mean, just a quick little look. And there's an old, there's a really old waller. Well, it's not a waller, a pig. You call a waller for a pig. I don't know. I don't know what you call them for buffaloes. You have to look it up, just a buffalo hole. Anybody out there? Got some got some comments? Lean below. There's another one. That's part of my jogging jogging route up here. That's where uh, I keep running over snakes, cobras. Three times, uh, what is it? January to, no, December to, to February. Man, monocled cobras right next to my foot. I mean, one, I, I mean, I must have just grazed it. It's just amazing. I was, whew. I was uh, freaking out a little bit. <clears throat> ah, I'm in the land of the giants again. Remember uh, my video from a year ago? Let's see if I can look it up. How tall these bananas were. And they've just grown into giants. A bunch of bananas up there. <clears throat> wow, just captivated by these the pineapple. A real, real young one there. <laughs> wow. Yes, look at that. Banana jungle. The banana forest. There be giants. Bigger pineapple. <clears throat> That's a way to utilize the land. Canopy now. <coughs> a little, uh, little asthmatic or uh, allergies are kicking up. Um, I guess a lot of things are pollinating. Every once in a while, every once in a while it hits me. Just boom. I don't know. It always seems to be when there's a big wind or shift. Change the direction. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of grass really growing up. Overrun. Ah, that's probably why. Right like there, all. All this grass pollination. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Now well, we're coming into the old rubber tree. The old rubber tree farm. I think I kept calling it a plantation. I guess it could be. A rubber shack back there. 
There you go, there's your rubber. Now, a lot of you have seen this many times. There you go, it's your latex. Yep, so it's just like a, there you go, it's your rubber. This rubber topper comes here and cuts the bark. He'll cut the bark about that much. And then uh, it'll bleed and then Right into there, and you can see how every one of these it's been a, a cut. Yeah, and you'll get only so many years out of these, and then they'll, yeah, I believe it's like eight, eight to twelve years, maybe fifteen max, and then um, they'll cut them all down their yield won't be good anymore and let me tell you nothing burns like rubber tree wood <laughs> again you can see that lilt they all have they all definitely go one way it's the way they all do all the forests will do that they'll tend to lean one way Yeah, great path. It's funny, you know, here, observation-wise, our summer is like the autumn here. All the leaves fall off the trees by, by peak summer. There'll be hardly any leaves on the trees. Of course, this is opposite to what it's like in our countries, Western countries. In the autumn and the winter, all the leaves go. <laughs> Look at this one. I've filmed this a few times. Look at that. <laughs> that is pure rubber. Yeah. Check that out. Wow, I can never smell it. Spiders. Spider webs. I think I'm back in Canada up on UBC, UBC trails. And I walk along and kick the leaves like this. Kind of reminds me of that. Now, the traditional is to use these pots, but uh, more and more I'm starting to see them using bags. Uh, I, there's just more yield. They don't have to empty them. Yeah, it makes sense to me. I don't know why they just didn't make the pots bigger. Might be something to do with... Uh, I, uh, I'm just speculating, but maybe the, uh, the size of the, of the balls when they bring them in to, to make mats out of them. I'm not sure. I haven't really studied the process. There's your typical pot. It's like a clay pot. You can see some wasps have been, uh, those are, uh, it's like a wasp nest in there. I believe those are parasitic wasps. What they'll do is they'll uh, capture a, a worm or something and they'll put its egg inside it and then they'll put it in there and seal that up. And then, uh, It'll uh, consume its host, just like an alien. Pop out of that stomach, just like an alien. Except it's not a xenomorph. Thank goodness. And the way things are going though, maybe one day that'll happen. Why not? Everything else has. Ah, oh, beautiful tree. Love that. Big trees, man. They're beautiful. And the eagles, I know there's eagle nests in there. A video I did a while ago, uh, as soon as I mentioned it, an eagle flew out. Oh yeah, holy smokes. You can see the nest right there in the crook of that tree, just above this green one here. There's a huge eerie, I think it's called. Massive eagle's nest, that's where it is. 
I wonder if we can find an eagle feather. Yeah, let's go look. And it's a bit of traipsing to get over there, but let's uh, let's go see. If I can find an eagle feather today, that would be awesome. Oh yeah, that's up there. That's a big one. <laughs> I do remember uh, quite a few years ago there was a there was a part of the forest back here. And there must have been about must have been about ten eagles in that area. I'll never forget it incredible all right so now here we are you can see it right up there What an eagle makes? <laughs> Let's look around and see if we can find an eagle feather. Beautiful tree. Uh, alas, they've been cutting them down like crazy in this whole area. Believe me, there used to be a lot more of them. A lot more of them. Uh, I always hate seeing them. I always hate seeing them go. I'm not an environmentalist, but uh, you know, I know it takes it takes many a year for these things to grow, especially here in this poor soil. Hmm, well, not seeing any eagle feathers. Strangely enough, I Well, I guess onward, towards the ocean. You can actually hear it from here. All right, that way. Well, here's another thing that you never used to see when I first came here on Samui. <laughs> Fences like that, look at this. There's money put into this fence. They either want to keep something in or keep, keep someone out something out goes for quite a ways back there too oh man <laughs> just never used to see them and then all of a sudden uh, I think after a few years they just started popping up everywhere big stone walls massive walls monolithic walls pre-dynastic walls dynastic walls <sighs> Sign over the times. These are all date palms here. You would uh, squeeze the date palms, get the oil out of them. Uh, the 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 nuts. Uh, And you know, in Malaysia and all that, uh, you can leave Kuala Lumpur and fly towards Thailand. Hundreds, 
thousand kilometers and that's all you see that is it date palms for the oil if you're eating something processed you can bet your butt it's uh, got date palm oil in it everything chocolate flour uh, products pancakes you name it whatever got it all in it we thought this would be a cute little place tiny Side screens. <clears throat> it's all blocked off. Tiny though. <laughs> this is like the uh, kitchen. Yeah, it looks like a kitchen. Open, open air kitchen area. <clears throat> Hmm, near your water. Yeah, keep a little self-contained. Probably the bathroom here. You got a bed in there. Bed area, so hmm, what would this be? Front porch area? Tiny home. Interesting. Okay, walk towards the beach. All right. Uh, well, as I was mentioning earlier, we get the bucket, uh, those rubber. They're put in through here through the press here. And they take on this distinct pattern. This one here is a very popular pattern see that a lot it's, I guess they each one has its distinct chemical additive yeah. there you go all electrically run uh, back in the old days I guess they were big hand cranks very manual manual labor intensive Still is. No doubt about it. You need an ample water supply too. Put your chicken in the basket. Your chook. We got some beans growing back there. Any more? These ones are really old. I can't see them lasting too much longer. These ones, where they're, they're right into the power lines. Yep. Uh, usually he has some on the racks here drying in the sun but I uh, haven't, haven't seen him for a while uh, it's a rubber planter in juxtaposition huh opulence hmm <laughs> a natural uh, beer coaster. I'm gonna keep that. If it don't float out of my pocket. So look where I'm at. There's the temple. And uh, yeah, I've done this many, many times. Come tan, mud some. I'm still got to go out. Crazy. Ooh, the water's nice and cool. Wow. Are we going for a little uh, dipperoo? Yeah. Ooh, wow. Love it when it's this chilly. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting cold. 
Onsen cold. Oh, nice and windy. Wow. Oh, this guy is... Oh, yes, that's nice and cool. Oh. Here come the water. Hope the damn thing works. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah. So uh, here's part of the uh, original wharf. It used to be here. It was all way out some of the oldest. One of the oldest uh, piers on Koh Samui. I think they had that when Aloha used to be up in here. That's going back years, 20, 20 years or so, 25, maybe more, maybe maybe more. All right. Well, normally what I'd do is I would uh, swim all the well, kind of walk all that way but I'm, I'm a little uh, tapped for time today so out of the sea I go and we'll walk along the beach here but uh, yeah you know, I'll have a few comments to make here on what I'm observing this time of year um, have to excuse me I don't have my microphone because uh, I've got the a waterproof door on so I can't uh, put the attachment on when I do that. I'm not seeing any uh, jetsam along the beach here like I did last year. I mean, it was uh, that time of year. We were uh, just swamped with it. As you can see, go back and check that video out. I'll leave a link down below. If anything, the beach looks very, looks relatively clean. Normally it's dirtier than this. So what it's done is these strong waves have uh, pushed the sand all over the, the garbage. So it's buried below. You can only imagine what you'd find if you dug down there. All along down there. Just dug down and kicked digging. You'd, find layer after layer of plastic and crap and out of sight out of mind only for the workmen to find hundred thousand years from now scratch their heads and go what was that generation all about <laughs> And the debris, the debris is getting pushed right up to the very top. So it's given the illusion of a very clean beach, but hey, I'll take it. Looks nice. Now's the time to come down here and go for a walk. Oh, 
there's what's left of uh, squid. Squid cartilage. And of course, uh, anyone that has budgie birds or anyone that has budgie birds, birds in a cage, would recognize those. That's what they use to uh, sharpen their beaks. Scratch on that old calcium from the uh, squid. That's where they come from. All the years we used to buy those, I never, as kids, uh, for our budgie. Now I know where they come from. My favorite section of beach on the entire island, of course. This is about to go fishing. Hanging his nets up, you know, fish out here. There are fish, but they're pretty small. Oh, and uh, another, those, uh, those end up on the shore here because way offshore there, every night uh, the squid fishermen are catching them and they clean them out at sea. So they, they, those will eventually just find their way here. But uh, it's not a natural thing. Look at that. That's been here for a long time couple of months that would be that would be an undertaking to say the least to uh, get rid of that a lot of rope on there look at that rope that would be uh, uh, yeah a big undertaking to get rid of that Finding those all over the damn place now. Just another uh, stupid. How many billions, maybe trillions of those things were made? They're all gonna end up in here. Yeah, the old abandoned resort, right here. Shown that a few times. Such a shame. Uh, there was a reason. There was a uh, breaking some sort of bylaw or law that uh, building too close to a stream or something like that, which is right next to it. I don't know. There was some sort of land dispute or something. Obviously something. It's a shame. It's a beautiful piece of property. Pretty nice. You know, buildings, you know, can be used, can be utilized. And here we are. The end of our. Just got a little ways to go here and end up back home. Beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that a nice walk? <laughs> that was actually about a six kilometer walk. Uh, knock a couple off there. I didn't know, I don't have time to, to go for the sea walk today. But uh, yeah, it was nice. Good way to get out, some fresh air.
Beautiful. Yeah, we'll go out to this little island. We're camping there one night. <laughs> That'd be funny. Well, again, just want to thank all you uh, keeping the reelers out there. Um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for uh, the comments. Could use a few more. Engaging. If you have any questions? Maybe I can enlighten you in some things. Especially those that want to come out here. Um, ask me away. I mean, I've been here close to 20 years, so I think I do know a little bit about Koh Samui. Again, huh? See, for me personally, a bungalow that size, perfect. A single guy, don't need much, you know? That would be perfect, that size. Ugh. Love to acquire it. Walking in the bare footsies. Yeah, so. Yeah, I guess I'll uh, be doing some videos of Chowang and Lamai again. It's been a, been a while. By Gar. It's been a while, by Gar. So. <sighs> jumping of the fence. Samihata Resort. Yeah. So I got my block of wood beer cozy. It's a nice solid piece of wood. Really heavy, really thick. It'll be coming handy for something, maybe uh, putting hot pots on or something. The sea always provides. The ocean always provides. Okay. So, uh, yeah. We'll uh, see you in the next one. Uh, Mosey on back. Love this little mom and pop shop. <laughs> Keeping it real in Thailand. Well, just got back, but uh, I wanted to show you something kind of interesting. Palm tree. And a lot of times on the palm trees you'll see a structure like this. It comes from the base. And this can literally go up the whole tree. They are termites. You can see how they eat just a little bit of the bark too uh, of the uh, palm, uh, palm tree. I think they use that as a base to, uh, I'm going to destroy the structure. Uh, there's, there's doesn't seem to be any termites in it at all. They've, they've abandoned it. But they might use that as a polymer as a, you know, to, uh, to bind the dirt. Can you use that? I'm not sure, just speculating. That. Yeah, it's completely abandoned. They did go quite far. Let me 
interesting. I should do some... Uh, I wonder if my uh, grease here did the trick. They went up to here. They probably couldn't go any further, so they abandoned it. But this could have been the savior. It'll go, it'll go right up the tree. Ah. Sure, it can. Yeah, like you can see one over here, an older one. Like you can see a, an older one over here. This one's collapsed too. Yeah. Let's have some remnants of it left. So you can see them there. And they might have some eggs. Uh, that one there looks like it's got an egg. Yeah. I'm not sure if they destroy the tree when they do that or not. Something I'll have to look into. Anyway, keeping a real entire just for you. See you in the next one.